Hello guys, Uljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Hurt World. I'm just out here looking for a rabbit because I'd like one more piece of meat before I start today's episode. But guys, thank y'all so much for all the support on the last few episodes. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Got you, sucker. Woo On the run. I'm getting good with this thing. Anyway, guys, today I found, I've been doing a little bit of research and I found out you can make a rare earth magnet. I mean, you can make a compass with something called a rare earth magnet. And I've had one before, but I was, I was like there. I looked up a map and I found out where spawn was, which this is in the southwest portion of the map. And I said to myself, how am I going to find out what's the directions? Maybe there's a compass. And sure enough, there's a compass. Now, I've seen this rare earth magnet before. I should have put two and two together. But basically, you have to craft a compass with a rare earth magnet. And that is with some iron and some other stuff. Also, I, st I wanted to try because I wanted to start making vehicles and stuff like that. And you have to go further inland to be able to do that. So let me go ahead and put this up. And we'll get some crafting done and see how this goes. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm always putting the wood in the wrong place. Okay, let's let this light. So, rare earth magnet. You have to make it in the workbench. And it is what's called, let's see, tools. I think it's called beacon. Yes, beacon right here. So, we need wood, which we have already. We need iron, and we need the rare earth magnet, which the wood. I put it all in the fireplace. There we go. Extinguish. Got that out. Grab my wood out, and I can also just eat this steak. Uh, that'll probably be the best thing here. Eat it. <laughs> I clicked. All right. I actually still need one more. Sheesh, man. Uh, let's see. Light it. All right. I can pull the wood out of there after this burn time, too. Let's see here. All right. That should cook the meat for me. <laughs> now, I can get down to business here. So, bam, earth magnet or beacon or whatever craft. We'll call it whatever it is. And the compass will tell me I don't exactly know how to use it yet. Aha, so you put it in your hand. All right, that's genius. And it does not appear to tell me where spawn is. Um, <laughs> hold up. It's not telling me anything. Oh, there's a, aha, ha, ha. I was looking at the compass itself. I wasn't even looking at the rest of it. Now I could see, ah, oh, that's so good. Okay, and this is my actual outpost. So it shows me where this is actually. Now, this is what's known as a, uh, what do you call this thing again? Uh, let's see, an ownership stake, I think it is. So, ownership stakes, you can make it with amber. You can make with, uh, you can make it with amber, clay, and wood logs. And let's go ahead and hand, oh, well, no, craft. No, 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 hold on, what am I doing here? Ownership stake, craft. Okay, we'll craft one of these because I don't know if people can mess with this or not. I've been told that this was something to prevent people from actually messing with your build. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here. And I know it's a little bit dark. Let's see here. It shows me that I can put it on the inside. I'll go ahead and put it here. Land already claimed. Okay, so it tells me that I don't need to do that. That's good. Uh, that means I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know the radius, and I put it outside because I didn't want people to mess with it. But you can interact with it and change the authorizations to be able to access the stuff here and stuff. So that's pretty good. What I want to do today, now that I now that I know my way home, I want to travel a little bit inland and go get some of the rare materials, and then we can start playing around with possibly getting the vehicles. I did craft an iron pick, by the way, which uh, I know you guys can't see too too well, but check this out. 
Bam! Three clicks. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to make an iron axe too and then uh, make sure I'm full up on food and we'll head out north. So right before we leave, you guys, <laughs> I think I can make a gun. Now, I went uh, inland earlier to grab, to, to look for stones, and I didn't go too far, but I did kill some pigs, and they give this stuff called animal fat. Well, you can make bullets with animal fat, which is awesome. So you can also make a gun using, let's see here. I'll show you in just a bit. I think it's just iron, leather, and wood. Let's craft this one bullet. And I, it, it actually creates five every time you do it. And I had a little bit of animal fat saved up. Also, now that we go to weapons, we've got this. There's a couple different types of weapons. But here, this bolt-action rifle, the, the assault rifle and the uh, the hunting bow and stuff I can't use. Like, all of that stuff is materials that I don't have. This is the type of stuff that we're going to need to go harvesting for. But the, uh, the bolt-action rifle I can create. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll upgrade our bow. So we're actually going to be packing... Pack and steel now. Okay, so the bow is going to come with me, definitely. Uh, let's, oh, that resource just spawned right there in front of us, huh? Okay, let's put up the bow and arrows. That way I'll just have more room for stuff. And we'll also put away the stone. And I'm pretty sure, oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can fill up the rest of the bin with some of this stuff here. I'll keep my eye on the bullets. I'll put the cloth away and the wood away. And I should just be able to harvest what I need as I go. Um, also, an iron axe is the only thing that I did not make. Uh, let's check this out quickly. Um, tools. Iron axe we want. We've got, yeah, there we go. Iron axe. So it's going to take some amber as well. Amber, which we should have some of that. I wish I still don't know how to uh, split stacks, unfortunately, but it's all good. Amber, let's craft. That way we'll be able to get some wood while we're out too. And maybe even upgrade the base when we get back. You know, I was going to stop this series uh, mainly due to the amount of views that I'm getting on it. But I think I'm going to stretch it a little bit further because I'm getting to the point that it's it's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, it's very simplistic. Uh, and I think the because of the, the graphics and stuff, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people aren't watching it. But it's okay. Uh, I do want to plan to do some other survival stuff. I've been looking into some other games recently, and uh, I think it's going to be real good. Okay, so let's try... Oh, wait. Ah, you need to load it first. So it does take a little while. Uh, it looks like it holds five bullets at a time. I do want to try to kill something with it. What I think I'm going to do is travel a little bit further inland. Uh, let's see. Can I kill this guy? Oh, it shoots pretty fast, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hit the wood. There we go. Okay, so not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Now, I, it doesn't look like I got any of the uh, any of the materials for it, which kind of seems funny. I guess that the guns are not as good as bows when it comes to hunting. I mean, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try. Let's let's one more time. This will be a lot more effective against other players, but there's not that many players on. Every once in a while, there's one or two players. They haven't opened up the servers publicly is one of the reasons why. So... <laughs> too far and too fast. I would rather just not waste a bullet. So, now that we know where this door and, uh, the house is, let's see. Look, the beacon right there. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm going to travel a little bit further in until I start seeing some interesting stuff, guys. And I'll bring you back when I get further inland. All right, guys, we definitely got some stuff going on around here. I just saw a pig, I think. And uh, I've, j I've just been, I've been trying to collect as many of these as I can because that's where you get rare earth magnets. And I would like to have a, uh, a backup. So I've just been picking up flint and hitting some, some of the nodes that I hit less. There's some sort of sphere looking thing over there. 
I don't know what that is. And it looks like there's a lot of stuff around here uh, that players have built. Now, I did. Oh, there's a pig right there. One shot, two shots. Okay, so they drop stuff. This will be good for ammo. I'm going to have to harvest iron as I go to animal fat. Good. That's like 10 bullets. Uh-oh. I hear one. Woo! Okay, you can shoot from the hip too, which helps a ton. Animal fat. All right. Very good. They come out of nowhere, but at least you can hear them, which isn't, which isn't bad at all. All right. I'm looking for any resources that I'm not familiar with seeing while watching my back a little bit and I do need to stop and grab iron as I go I think this is iron right here yeah iron ore it takes five hits with a metal pickaxe to get that and I have plenty of coal at the house so I really just need to concentrate on a couple things like these these sandstone looking ones I think these give you limestone which you need for some of the uh, the higher end crafting recipes as well Oh my god. What the heck? <gasps> it shoots. Oh man. Okay. So I'm being poisoned. Wow. I thought that was another player. Where's the pig? Oh, there's another one. This is bad, bad news right here, you guys. Bad news. I gotta run. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. How far can them dudes shoot? What the heck? All right. I think we're relatively safe. Man, it went from zero to dangerous in a second, didn't it? God. All right, so it looks like my poison is fading. I don't know. I don't know. Is there antidotes or something like that? Like, I have no idea how this stuff works. I haven't even made it. I wonder what's over there by that sphere. But it's getting dark. It's going to be harder to see. Man, this is not good at all. Okay. I'm getting a little hungry, too. All right, I hear the pig. Oh, right there. Okay, some more players are connected. Oh, no, Fearless disconnected. Jester connected. Another pig. Oh, missed. Oh, it's the big reload. They leave you alone after a little while. And they take two shots. Okay, how's my ammo looking? I only have ten left. Uh, all right, this is <laughs> this is. I think I'm gonna need a lot more ammo to come out here. So, a bow would probably help mitigate some of the ammo use, and I did not bring mine. Huh? Because those guys that shoot poison, man, oh man! I would like to make it to that sphere first, though, wherever that was. I do have ten bullets. If it gets to too hard I'll uh what did this guy drop this is leather what are you I don't know but it sure is weird huh uh, okay let's see that is the sphere I was hoping that I would find a type of resources that I haven't found before but I don't know how far in you have to go for it all right, there's some of those other things. Okay, three shots. The noise attracts him from all over the place. There's another one right there. Am I out of ammo? I got him. Oh god, there's two. Whoo! 
Ooh, out of ammo. All right, can I hit this? Oh, I can't. Oh, he left me alone. All right, there's so much stuff around that I want to grab, but I was taking damage, so I'm really, really scared. I don't want to get close to those things that have the ranged attacks, because it's probably much harder to get away from them. What is this? Animal tendons? I gotta get good at swinging at these guys. Alright, so you can kill them with an axe. That's very good to know. Oh, but man, I am hurting. I am hurting big time. Okay. I think I'm gonna retreat for now, you guys. I think I'm gonna retreat for now. I'm 850 meters away from spawn. But um I'm I'm gonna need a lot more ammo to get to get anywhere. Like I can't go further. And uh and that's where all my materials are. So anyway, I'll what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my time, harvest some resources on the way back, make sure I don't die. And uh that rabbit scared me. Uh and when we come back, hopefully we can go a little bit further. Alright, you guys, I'm quite a bit out into the map. If I look at my compass here. I'm about 960 meters away from my spawn area. I went ahead and crafted a bunch of arrows, brought my bow, and a bunch of bullets. So I'm I'm looking around here, and I see some of those creatures, and I'm going to see if I could hit them from here. I don't know what the bullet range is or if there's any drop-off to consider, but it does look like they all start coming. The aggro range is ridiculous. Okay, I did hit that guy. And this is going to be pretty tough here. All right, that was a that was a third hit. Okay, it's about to get rough here. I gotta reload. They're shooting me with poison. All right. Took care of almost all of them. Come back here. Okay, I got him. Oh, pig. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a corner. Shoot! Man, this is bad. I'm just like kiting into him at this point. I'm taking poison toxic level Brittany. I don't even know what that is. Okay, I'm far away from everything now. As long as they don't come after me, I think I'm okay. So it looks like my toxic my toxic level is reducing, but so is my health. So if my toxic level goes away, I should be able to start healing again. I'm going to have to make a campfire, cook some meat. Let's see. Five seconds. All right. Toxic level has begun to reduce. And now the being poison is going away and my health is increasing again. Wow. Okay. So I can't, I can't rightly hit anything. I can't rightly shoot anything. That's ridiculous how far they knew where to, to, to come from. Okay, let me pick up some of this stuff. I got some raw steak. Eating would probably help me reduce, I guess, increase my health. I'm hoping at least. There's a fire right here. I might as well try. Uh, okay, so I don't have any wood. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I should have. If I could split stacks, I would bring a little bit of stuff like that, but I can't really do that. All right. This looks like a pretty good place. Doesn't look like there's anything that's overly dangerous okay I got a little bit of wood and some tree bark I should just be able to cook myself a little bit of food I don't know how much that is gonna help my health but I know I'm gonna have to eat in the first place notice that since I crafted all of the um, the stuff for my uh, my armor like my shirt and stuff that I am beginning to take uh, no problem with cold <laughs> so I could kinda go anywhere Let's see here. Looks like 
The same few people just keep disconnecting and reconnecting. I guess they just log on for a little bit to check their stuff. Maybe there's something that they have to check, you know, that they're they're storing up for. Maybe some forming. I'm not too sure. Okay. There's my stuff. We'll go ahead and take this. So, yeah, I haven't turned cold yet, which is uh, which is pretty amazing uh, with my little bit of clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> that was good, he said. That's funny. Okay. So, it is dark right now. I don't know... I think I'm just going to walk a little bit and stay away from, like, the main deal. Um, and hopefully I'll find some of that new ore. That's really what I want. Also, I did kill a bunch of those things, but I don't think they gave me any resources that I couldn't find. I guess if they haven't despawned yet, I'll go check out to see if I missed anything that I can scavenge up. I see a couple of boxes here. Let's see what they are. Um, animal fat, I need that for bullets, okay. Leather, okay, I don't know if that was from the pigs, or if that was from the, um, the alien looking things. I wish I knew what they were. Okay, that's where I killed one of the things. But it does not look like he dropped anything. Hmm. These guys must just be... I mean, it must be pretty straightforward. They must just be enemies, you know? I might as well harvest a little bit of iron. and uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to avoid the middle section and see if I can notice any different colored ore in this section. But uh, <laughs> that's about all I could do. Uh-oh, guys. Those things are back after me. They meowed. So I think they're like some cat creatures or something. All I know is they shoot that icky stuff, and it hurts. So as you can see, I just got <laughs> I just got jumped to by a few pigs. I know it's a little dark. I'm going to try to increase my gamma just to show you guys what goes on. And I still don't see any kind of special lures. Where am I in reference to my home? Okay, 11.59 away. So this way is like further out. So I guess I'm going to... Oh, there's something right there. Oh, man, that hurt a lot. A lot. Oh, there's the cat thing. What the heck? All right. It left me alone for now. I don't know where to go out here. All right, you guys, the sun is coming out, and I've reached a place that I thought I would explore with y'all on camera because I've never seen this area before I'm still quite a bit away from the house uh, let's see 1356 I think let's load up the gun just in case there's anything that I really have to defend myself against I've pretty much except for rabbits everything that I've seen so far is hostile so uh, what in the world is this some sort of metal structure some ruins How weird. Can I do anything with it? Does not look like it. Nope. Hmm. No animation for breaking. I guess it's just like some... I guess it's just a landmark. You know? <laughs> some desert debris. Hmm. Huh. Well, I found something. It's green. <laughs> and it's very far out. I am roughly 1,800, 1,900 away from spawn. Somewhere around there. And I'm hoping that this is what I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the stuff that I'm actually looking for is red. But this is another ore that I'll be able to use for something. I'll need to make a blast furnace. Oh, now it's getting cold over here. Okay, let me get this stuff. Can I even mine it? No, I cannot mine it. And I am freezing fast, and it's broad daylight. Okay, so this is a harsh terrain. <laughs> well, I guess I went to the wrong place to spawn, like, I guess the, the, the red ores. Because I think the red ores are what I'm going to need first. I wish there was something that I could put up here. Oh, and there's one of those bad guys. 
the cat things. So yeah, that's the green ore over there. Where is home in relation to here? <gasps> Son of a gun. Oh, I didn't get him. I got him once. Twice. Three times a monster. And I'll shoot you in your face. <laughs> Sucker. All right, and it's getting dark again. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll have to do a little bit more research to find out where it's at, but I'm glad I did find something. And these guys are just going to continue to harass me. I need to get out of this area because this poison is going to be real. Oh, he did drop something. Let's see what he drops. Is there anything interesting? Animal tendons. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Old Gen signing off, and we'll see you next time.